at the big T. They ready, flags up, and they racing from that 1400 meter marker. Humdinger, a known front runner, is right up there. Goes off to spearhead the attack. In second is under your spell, looking for some cover. Eternal Life's been dropped in for a run today. Then comes Follow Me, raced with no cover. Further back to Queen of Shadows, got the pink sleeves and the blue cap about four lengths off them. Supreme Quest, Hollywood Bound, and Clafuti is the back marker. They're really not going fast up in front, and it's Humdinger who gets to steady the ship by length and a bit. In second is Under Your Spell. Then comes on the inside, Eternal Life. Further back to Follow Me. On the inside of that is Queen of Shadows. Then comes Supreme Quest. Hollywood Bounds, one from last, and Clafuti is going to have to get past them all. Homeward Bound, they go up the lane. There's 650 meters left to go, and it's Humdinger who's calling the shots over here. Under your spell, he's latched onto that one in second and given every chance. Then in third is Follow Me. On the inside is Queen of Shadows who moves well, but it's Humdinger from Under Your Spell who's now been asked to run. Humdinger Under Your Spell, Queen of Shadows. Hollywood bound to the outside, but Humdinger has still got the lead, not for much longer because yes, Under Your Spell. Under Your Spell comes at Humdinger. Under your spell goes for home. Hamdinger came on the inside. Hamdinger under your spell, but under your spell is finishing far too good. Under your spell beats Hamdinger. Behind that, photos maybe Queen of Shadows in third, and fourth maybe Hollywood Bound. All right, so under your spell, you can see white sleeves, white cap, travelled smoothly into the race. And uh, she probably would have wanted that cover in the early parts for something to run onto. But she's a very classy horse that's under your spell. And I see jumped at about 28 to 10. Well done to all the owners. I know they're very passionate about the game. Let me take my time to run through it. The OTR management team, Mr. T.F. Henderson, to Mrs. BMA LaHood, to Mrs. M. Curry, C.N. Francis, Aidan LaHood, Jared LaHood, Alan F. Peters, and of course to Larry, congratulations. Under your spell is back, and she's back with a bang. And your spell has come through to win race number four, the first league of the jackpot for Sean Terry. Lovely to have one or two of the owners on course here. She really is just class, this individual. Sammy Hillstad, Calvin Abib knows her so well. And I must tell you, Calvin, when she was at three to one, I said to the punters out there, no, that's, that's really good value. You better jump on. Oh, listen, um, you know, Betty doesn't really matter to me. This filly, she's so amazing. And uh, it's just a, pr a privilege to ride her. And uh, yeah, every morning when I ride her, I just, I just love you know, the feeling that she gives me and she's a little bit quirky, but uh, that's how we know she's doing well. And um, yeah, it's just her, just her showing that she, you know, her little bit of class, a little bit of attitude. And uh, yeah, just a privilege to ride her. Well done to Mr. Terry, to the whole team back at home. You know, they do a great job and uh, it's just, you know, when you re reap the rewards like this, you really appreciate it. And in fact, it just shows you how good she is when she gives a horse like Humdinger four kilograms and still beats Humdinger. That's who she is. Yes, look, um, I ideally wanted a little bit of cover, but uh, there was no real pace on. I knew if I just have Humdinger in my sights, you know, I'll know when to go. And uh, that's exactly what I did. And just try to do pace work and wait as long as I could on it because obviously she had to carry the mass. But um, look, I, I was very happy with the way she won the race. She felt like she was only getting going towards the end and a uh, very good win. Well done to all the owners, to Aiden and, and, and Craig that are, yeah, they're loyal supporters. They, they always come yes. to watch her run. And, you know, everyone else is involved. There's a whole bunch of them, but they're lovely people. And to our new owner that, that invested in this filly, glad we can get a win with her. And uh, I'm sure it won't stop, yeah. Well done, Calvin. Thank you very much. And then just a big thank you to Aventure, my sponsors. They had a lovely sale. Had some nice horses, got good prices, and uh, I'm sure they'll do well. So thank you very much to Aventure and to everyone. Thank you very much. Good ride. Thank you. Cheers. Well done, Calvin. Here's Sean Terry coming into the picture. And I mean, Sean, uh, she's always, I know she's always been very special to you. She's just such a lovely filly. Yeah, she's taken a bit of time to get back in uh, the winner's box this season. You know, she's a, she's a really uh, high-class filly. Group one winner, multiple group two winner. I've got to thank, obviously, Terry Henderson from OTR Management. He purchased this horse some uh, seven months ago. And, you know, with our protocols, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to get out the country. It's pretty much like sanctions against our racing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's always a, a very tough obstacle for us to get over. But uh, maybe the international community will do us a favour and, uh, you know, we'll be able to compete on level terms. Um, a big thank you, and um, obviously to all the guys that stayed in, um, Jared, Larry, Beryl and Aiden, Mark, Chad, Alan, Peters, 
Um, I hope I haven't forgotten anybody. Uh, Doing well so far. I think we. I think we. I, think um, I said. Did I say, Chad? And, and, you did. And, okay. You did it. So yeah, uh, I'm just happy that she's won again. We're going into the feature season, and you know maybe she could do something else for us before she leaves. Well said. Thank, Thank you. you. Well done, Sean. Yeah, she's top class. Let's get the guys into the picture. Here. How many times do you and I have chatted about her? I mean, she's just unbelievable. She's so good. Unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. I mean. The last six runs, she's been a little bit in and out, but I mean, we've been unlucky um, in a few of those runs. Uh, if we go back to Durban and they jumped by luck, they were walking and we went to the front, so we were stiff. Uh, but to Craig, he's been around for seven, seven wins, he's been to every one of them. So he's the, he's the lucky charm. And uh, to all the partners, I was speaking to Alan Peters this morning. Um, so he said, I'm watching Al. I hope you had a good one on this. And uh, the new partners from overseas, um, as Sean said, you know, unlucky that you know, they couldn't get her out. But if things change, she'll be able to go out and hopefully compete on the, on the big stage. But the season's coming now and Sean's got her well prepared and it was a great ride by Calvin. He was patient and he waited and uh, I think they tried to slow it up a bit around the turn earlier on, uh, catch us napping, but uh, uh, you know, Calvin was on the, on the ball. She's not going to stop here. Seven will not be her number. She's got more. Craig will need to come here more often. He'll have to. If he doesn't, he'll get shot. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Well done. She's done it. Under your spell. Sean Terry, Calvin Abib, the owners in Summy Hill Stud. That's now seven for her. One, two, eight, and three. Very good run back in second by Hamdinger. Equally good by Queen of Shadows back in third. Straight line quartet. Only paid 89 rand. But if you took it a few times, it'll be good. And our bankers home here in the jackpot. Race number four.